soon as lockdown was implemented, videos like this started surfacing of people being forced to do all sorts of army drills, jumping jacks and squats and being forced to roll around in the dirt, which is straight up degrading for being caught out and about. I mean, this almost seems like a stupid thing to point out, but why are they frisking people? What is up with that? That is not social distancing. Coronavirus is spread via touch. So, I mean, you are not changing those gloves in between frisking that guy and then frisking that guy and then slapping that guy. There's a lot wrong with that, but on top of everything, in this pandemic, if the whole purpose of this lockdown is to prevent the pandemic from spreading, surely the police out in the street should know not to fucking touch people. It has to come from the same virus to be in the same family. Virus is coming no, Stop touching niggas with your hands. Yes, yeah, stop touching people with your hands. What are you doing? Now it's impossible to tell who actually had just cause for being out. But in images like this, you can see this is a defenseless woman that is coming home from doing shopping. There she is carrying the shopping bags. There she is being forced to do squats next to her shopping bags. South African police have a long-standing history of treating the less privileged like shit. Now this particular kid was coming home from buying groceries and he got beaten by the army. They chased this kid down without asking any questions and just started beating him. These are fully grown men kicking a boy, a child. What the fuck for? And you know what? After these videos surfaced and started doing rounds on social media, the army came back. Not to come check if he was okay. No, but to come and find the people that posted the video. And they're not even breaking any laws. The military are twisting laws to harass people that are documenting their bullshit. It is madness out there on these streets. These cops think they are living in grand theft order. I do not even know what they think this is. Driving around, just shooting rubber bullets. No asking questions, no warning, no discussion. Just firing at random. Not even stopping the car to fire. They are literally just firing rubber bullets at people at random out on the streets. What the fuck is up with that? And look what happened when a journalist was out in the streets of Yeovil and suddenly she got shot at and then she tried to report it at the police. News 24 journalist Azara Karib says she was mocked when she laid a charge against the police. She was shot at in Yeovil. It wasn't only me. There was five or six people that um, I was filming them shooting. The police didn't ask if they had essential business. They didn't ask me if I had essential business. They just hopped off their yalla and ran after them and started shooting at them. At some point, the officer, he stood about five meters away from me. Despite me screaming that I'm media, he still shot. I'm media! I'm media! I'm media! I'm media! So uh, I got to like that part of my story and I was telling him that part and he said, Oh, he missed. What a waste. And then him and the sergeant just burst out laughing. Yeah. And that is what a journalist, somebody that is privileged, walking into a police station trying to report police using unjust force is being told. Can you only imagine what is happening to the less privileged? And what do you expect when these are the orders they are being given by their superiors? When we come in, we scope and don't know. For those that didn't understand it, scop and donor means kick and hit. This is what they are being told to do. These are the directives that they are being sent out onto the streets with. So it comes as no surprise when they are beating people up unnecessarily. There have been countless people that have ended up dead after being beaten up by police. In one incident, a 55-year-old man was picked up in possession of two beers, beaten up by police, dropped off at home, and died in front of his grandchildren. What the fuck? And then in another incident, a 40-year-old man in Fosleris was followed home by private security and police and shot in his own front yard. Four children were hit by shrapnel and injured in the crossfire. The kids came in, started shouted, uh, something's happening outside. He was having a confrontation with these officials or policemen, I don't know. And by the time that I pulled him into the veranda area, one of the officers had come into the yard as well. And as I slammed shut the sliding door, he shot at him, I don't know, a few times. And then most recently, the military entered a person's home, apparently looking for alcohol, found one beer, one beer in his fridge, dragged him outside, poured the beer over his head, beat him up, stopped neighbors from shooting video and made them delete the videos, beat the man up so badly that hours later he died in his wife's arms in bed. They dragged him to their house looking for those beers. It was only one beer in the fridge. After they called backup, it came, it was a quantum full of soldiers. 
that's where they started beating them. And they ask what for? Because you didn't find that on the street grouping and drinking. You find us inside eating food. So the two soldiers, they came inside, took me outside, they beat me. I didn't do anything. I was just standing there. She sustained minor head injuries. Her husband, however, was not so lucky. He couldn't wake up. He was just sleeping and then vomiting a little bit. That's when I started to clean him. And then he never woke up. And that was caught on camera by various members of the Alexandra community. Um, some of them were also assaulted by members of the Defence Force and their phones were taken away. We have seen the military and the police uh, stripping our community members of their dignity, uh, frog jumping them, uh, making them to roll on the ground. But this is very, very shocking. None of these victims posed any threats to the police, military or private security. Why were they being shot at? Why were they being assaulted? Assaulted to the point where they died from their injuries. This is fucked. People within Police Minister Beggy Kele's team has said he has completely lost the plot, that he is more concerned with arresting people for black market cigarettes and alcohol. That is the world that we're living in. While the military and the police are allowed to run around the streets of this country, unchecked. Obviously, a notoriously corrupt police force is going to take full advantage of a situation like this. You know, let's just hear it from the horse's mouth. The owners of these police stores, who they come together with the criminals, uh, to, to push their stock. That's what happened in one of the tops where we have arrested our own police that were working with the manager. Yeah, obviously, the police are the ones trafficking the black market booze. To recap, we have a corrupt police force teamed up with an unprepared military just going around beating and shooting people. All of a sudden, they have the power to stop and harass anybody that they find on the streets. They can threaten them with fines. They can force them to do all sorts of shit. They can shake them down for money, for food. And then the army and police are still being backed up by private security forces. How did we get to the point where private security, who aren't even servants of the state, are out there? unleashing force on people with shambox really what they're supposed to be doing is stopping people finding out if they have an adequate reason for being out on the street and if not they are supposed to either find them or i guess arrest them arrest them also makes no sense that's a whole nother discussion we have a prison system that is over capacity already there is already covert outbreaks happening at south african prisons. so i mean this is not a time that we want to be putting more people unnecessarily into the prison system People are being harassed and attacked for no reason. All to implement this lockdown. To what ends? You know it's bad when Amnesty International are calling you out and telling you to get your shit in check. That is what is happening. Peggy Tele, Cyril Ramaphosa, sort your shit out. Amnesty International calling you out.